Hello everybody and welcome back to Dan and Moon Media Punker. Today we're going to play a game that was created for um, a game jam called Little Bites, which raises awareness about poverty. And this game is made by the person who created the uh, the game jam also, uh, Kiva Bay, which some of you guys might know from her um, Kickstarter of the feminist deck. She's an artist, she's obviously a game designer, she's overall a cool person from what I've seen on Twitter and everything. Um, so this game I uh, wanted to check out because it seemed really interesting. It's considered it's considered a empathy generator so it's not just like a game to have fun or to well you could have fun. I mean, you should be enjoying yourself when you're playing a game, at least. Um, but it's also, like, get into uh, this perspective of other people. And that's what I like about diverse games, is that you find these other perspectives. That might not be anything like your like what you've gone through, or it might. And just to know that there's other people who have gone through similar experiences, or to be able to better empathize <laughs> with those people. Um... So, let me give you a quick summary about this game that I'm just reading straight from her website. Um, in 12 hours, you are a homeless woman who spends her days sleeping in the student union and her nights trying to avoid danger out on the streets. You must explore the city to stay awake and find conversations and distractions to pass time or places to catch small naps. There is risk in everything that you do. And... There's also, I want to give out some content warnings. Um, this game features substance abuse, assault, implied sexual assault, violence against women, food insecurity, homelessness, and discussions of stalking and domestic violence. Doesn't mean that in my particular playthrough, I'll get all of that. Um, never know, I might just be choosing wrong. Um, but those are the possibilities, so I completely understand if you're not able to finish watching this Let's Play. Um, I'd rather you know ahead of time instead of being warned, or not warned, you are being warned, instead of being surprised. Because um, I can, I definitely understand how that feels. And so this game was made on Twine, which is a pretty awesome platform to start off, like basic story games, and it's what I've been playing around with for the past few months. Um, so it's mostly text, though because Kiva Bay is an artist, there is art in this. I believe there's music too. Um, there's obviously with a lot of these Twine games, there's more than one ending. So I'm hoping to get like a positive, hopeful ending. Maybe not a happy ending per se. Who knows if there is one or what would one consider, like, cons bleh, consider a happy ending but you never know I might get a really terrible bad ending but and that's the way it goes sometimes so let me get this started um, my my face cam might block a couple of things I hope not a lot I will be reading everything out um, and yeah let's get this going in full screen. So I just read the content warnings and now we start. 12 Hours by Kiva Bay and Kaylin Sandel. Music by Maddie Myers. It's 7 p.m. and the student union is closing. It will be 12 hours before it opens again. You are not a student. You are a homeless woman. You are not always a homeless woman. Once, you were a wine cook. But the restaurant you were working for, working at closed, and you couldn't find another job, and unemployment couldn't cover your rent. You weren't sure if you liked being a wine cook or not, but you liked having a job. You liked belonging somewhere. You liked feeling like you had a place to be every day. Since you're not beautiful, it's hard to know if you've ever belonged anywhere. You are a fat woman who is obsessed with pulling the thick, dark hairs out of her upper lip. Your body is soft with low-hanging breasts, and your belly shifts like a waterbed's mattress when you lay on your side. Your curly hair, <laughs> your hair is curly, and it's very nice after being brushed for five minutes before it frizzes out. 
Because you are so dirty so often now, your skin has become oily and breaks out in zits. Despite all this, you are most embarrassed by your feet which are a size 12 wide, flat, with thick yellow nails. Your body is a torturous prison to you. It has never been a comfortable home, and now it's the only one you have. You sleep in the student union during the daytime because you feel safe there. Once, you slept in blackberry bushes, but someone found you and crawled in after you to try and hurt you. You crawled away from them and got thorns in the palms of your hands, cuts on your fingertips that stung, stung for days. Since then, you always sleep in the student union at the local university. Lots of students sleep there with their laptops open in front of them, or their books in their bags. You tuck your backpack under your chair and stretch your legs out on the table in front of you and pull your hat down over your eyes and sleep. Sometimes, you keep a book open in your lap. But for the most part, you don't bother. Nobody seems to notice you, and you don't mind that. Sometimes you feel safer if people don't notice you. But other times you wonder if you're forgetting how to be a person. It's been a long time since anyone called you by your name. Your name is... Diana Moon. The woman named Diana Moon must stay awake and alive for the next 12 hours. You may find places to risk short naps or places to kill time. Be careful during your interactions with others. You'll have nobody to protect but yourself. I'll try. You are standing in front of the student union. It is closed. Soon the security guards will be walking out the campus and they've already warned you to stay at, away after catching you sleeping on a bench. You don't want to spend the night in jail. You need to stay awake. It's imperative you stay awake. Every time you have fallen asleep at night, something terrible has happened to you. You have been chased by security guards, attacked by strangers, and the very cold in the ground seems to seep into you and make you stiff and miserable. The nightmares that come when you sleep outside in the elements are terrifying. You must stay awake. This has become your routine every night. You are afraid you are losing your mind. You hear things, not aloud, but some thoughts that you swear aren't your own. They are angry thoughts. You feel like you have a person living in your head who hates you. You wish it would stop, but you're afraid to tell someone else about it. Maybe if you ignore it, it will go away. You have to keep walking to stay awake and avoid getting a ticket for sit-lie violations. You have to find some way to occupy your time. You have 13 cents to your name right now. Do you head? Go north along the path through the park blocks. There's a highway to the south that you cannot cross. Head east in the direction of the river, or try your west, where you can see a small business district with fast food places. When I go with the business district, west. As you hike along the sidewalk, you spot the burger bag fast food joint and your stomach growls weakly. They have a poverty menu with cheap, terrible items for a dollar each. You could buy yourself a burger and chow down on it. A burger would help you digest any coffee if you get it later, but it may upset your stomach. Also eating can make you sleepy. You don't want to fall asleep, or you'll get a ticket, or worse, end up in the jail for a night. You have three pennies and two nickels. Beg. I mean, unfortunately, that's not enough for a dollar burger. You have a cup from the trash and a seat in on a step in an alcove a few doors down from the burger bag. You hold up your cup, out your cup and try to make eye contact with people who pass you, but people don't seem to want to look at you. You shake your cup, holding it up as strangers pass. One stranger makes eye contact. The stranger tosses eight pennies and one nickel into your cup. Now you have 11 pennies and 3 nickels. I'm going to keep begging, hoping, hoping nothing happens. You have a cup from the trash and a seat. No, it's the same. You make people, make eye contact with people who pass you but don't seem to want to look at you. You shake your cup, holding it up as strangers pass. One stranger makes eye contact, but the stranger looks away uncomfortably. You shake your cup, 
holding up a stranger's pass. One stranger makes eye contact. The stranger drops five pennies and three nickels into your cup. Now you have 16 pennies and six nickels, which is 30, 46 cents. Not enough to buy anything. All right, let's try again. You shake your cup, holding it up as a stranger's pass. One stranger makes eye contact. A stranger tells you to get a job. Again, I do it. You shake your cup, holding it up as a stranger's pass. One stranger makes eye contact. Eye contact. The stranger throws seven pennies, one dime, and two quarters into your cup. So 30 cents, 80 cents, 90 cents. I have enough for the dollar ringing. I'm going to stop begging. I'm going to go inside. You head inside where it's warm and they have Wi-Fi. Your phone, which you haven't been able to pay the bill for since you lost your place, immediately comes to life in your pocket. It's not the first time you've been in a burger bag and it remembers the Wi-Fi password. Do you have notifications on Twitter you can check? Sure. I mean feel a little bit more human connected as if you belong look at your phone oh it's just a notification from someone who wants you to check their profile and they have a cross for an avatar there's also a message from someone promising followers a couple retweets from people you don't know and some favorites from people you do know nobody is talking to you though and you have nothing snarky to add right now Still, it's nice to distract yourself for a minute with cute emergency animals. Put your phone down. We're gonna look at the menu. The menu is almost overwhelming. You're so hungry, you realize. You have not been aware you could be this hungry. Anything sounds good, and because of it, nothing sounds good. You want to sit down at a table and waste time. You want to feel satisfied, somehow. But you wonder if satisfaction can really only come on the value menu. You look into your cup. Looks like you've got 23 pennies, 6 nickels, a dime, and 2 quarters down. Burger for $1.99. Not enough. Leave. Buy a chicken sandwich for $3.99. Chicken sandwich would technically be better, but... Leave. Um... Let's go north. No, no, let's not go towards the park. Let's go west along the bike path. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. It's a cop. It's a cop. It's a cop. She walks towards you with her friendly face on, but you know this could go sour any second now. You swallow harder and wonder how is this going to end. Evening, she starts with a smile. What's your name? That's pretty cool and wow. Diana Moon, you reply, croaking through a dry throat. Can you tell me what you're up to tonight, Diana Moon? Just taking a walk. Your heart is pounding. You can feel sweat gathering on your brow. You feel like you're shaking. Are you okay? So tell the truth, lie, or run in the directions. I mean... Yeah, cops, especially with everything that's going on, you really can't trust cops. And just because there's female cops doesn't mean they're also they're going to be good. But at the same time, you have to believe. Oh, God. I feel like this is going to go badly. I mean, I'm used to just, like, saying, just lying and never ask anyone asks if you're okay it's like yeah fine <laughs> but I'm gonna tell the truth oh damn it I'm just trying to stay awake you look down at your feet in shame I lost I don't have a home and I don't have anywhere to sleep I sleep at the student university union at the university and her eyes narrow you sleep at the university and pulls out her radio this is the first time they caught you doing that? Fucking cops. Why did you think you could trust them?
Oh, where did I? I was hoping the view. Ugh. Damn it. I knew better. I mean, I guess maybe with homeless people, cops are a little bit more. I guess? I don't know. I haven't had very much interaction with cops in general, thankfully. Um, though, they haven't all been positive either. Oh man! I barely even started, I guess, but. Oh. I feel like I'm gonna try this again. I might try this again, but for a different um, let's play, because why not? I mean, that's what's good about these types of games is you get multiple replays and it's completely different. Um, they hit end. It probably goes to the front. Oh. Uh, let me read this out for sure. If you're experiencing homelessness in the United States, please dial 211 for a list of local resources. If you're experiencing domestic violence, please contact the Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. If you're in a crisis and contempl contemplating hurting yourself, please call the National Suicide Prevention Line at 1-800-273-8255. Our heroine, we notice, is black and transgender. Homelessness affects transgender people of color at higher rates than other people. If you are transgender and in crisis, please contact the Trans Lifeline at the United States number 877-565-8860 or Canada 877-330-6366. I wish I had more answers for you. I wish this game had a solution, but all you can do is survive one night to the next. Thank you for playing. Thank you, Kiva Bay, for making this. Um, I know those are all like North America centric numbers, but it's hard to like compile a list and you never know who's going to play. Of course, this is in English, so that narrows it just a bit. Um, I remember there being a link on Tumblr. I'm going to see if I can locate it. If not for this Let's Play of this game, then for the next, and I'll edit it in this, where I had a list for, uh, at least for suicide prevention. Um, for all the different countries um, that could be helpful um, even though I didn't get too far in this game well, whatever's considered far it was pretty in-depth I mean I love the little it's one of the things I really love about Twine is the little hot links to get a little bit more deeper of the story um, without it's a way of showing and telling without actually telling or at least giving you too much of an info drop because they're all optional. You don't have to click those to find out more information. Um, but it just enriches the story. I like the uh, I like the mechanic that uh, for begging and it counts the totals. I mean, you gotta do a little math in your head, but in real life you did you gotta know what five or six dimes are and five nickels and the Muscling this amount of pennies, and then if you're lucky, or if you're not lucky, then you'll be getting some random Canadian dollar, Canadian coins, not dollars, um, or euros. Um, so that was pretty neat, and I believe she got that mechanic from the other person who helped develop the game with her. Um, and the few pictures that we got were, I think, just right, and the music. As you can hear, I hope. <laughs> um, it was very atmospheric and it definitely worked. Um, I didn't even get a chance to meet the dog. And, uh, you can meet a dog and you can befriend a dog. And a dog always makes everything better. And having a dog is a great companion. Uh, both a dog and a cat lover. Don't have either at the moment, but in the future I think that, that would be awesome. So, yeah, if you want to check out this game, I will leave the itch.io link in the bottom. If you want to, if you're inspired to help for the game, which I believe that is still going. Um, and if you really do enjoy this game and want to see it more fleshed out, 
or have reached more people. It is also uh, being considered uh, on Steam Greenlight, so I'll leave a link for that to just give it like, yeah, I would totally buy this game. Um, that would help a lot to raise awareness for not only transgender people of color who are in rough situations, uh, for all homeless people, you get an idea. Um, I recently noticed when I was downtown this weekend for TwitchCon how bad the homeless population here in San Francisco has gotten. Like, we've always had a problem and we've always had services to help combat that. Um, but it, because I don't go to market that often anymore as I used to, um, it's really grown and it's, it's, I was shocked, like, how bad it's gone. And so, we definitely need to help them. Um, the ones, yeah, we definitely need to help. Get with how rich San Francisco has been getting with all the tech companies and everything. Um, there's no reason why we can't help out in our own ways. For me, it's help promote this game to raise more awareness for other people if you can afford it to donate to charities, your local charities, and try to see if we can nip this in the bud a little bit. Um, I really do hope you liked watching this if you were able to watch this. Um, if you would like to see me play this again and hopefully get at least to the dog <laughs> or a more hopeful ending. Let me know in the comments if you have any other games you would like me to try and play out. Um, uh, definitely let me know. If you did like this and were able to watch all the way through, hit that like button for more games similar to this or other games in general I play all kinds. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and you can always contact me on Twitter at uh, Diana Moon. So, I hope you guys have a lovely day, and Diana Moon says...